Nine of every 10 things we use daily comes to us by sea. From our daily necessities to our gadgets like our handphones and laptops, to the materials for the roads our cars drive on, all of them are transported by ships that travel across long distances through busy sea lanes from all parts of the world. Important ships known as HVUs or high value units carry valuable cargo that we need and can be threatened at sea. This is why navies deploy warships to protect these vessels, ensuring they reach their destinations safely. The RSN and the US Navy ran this scenario as part of the recent exercise Pacific Griffin. What can a Republic of Singapore Navy frigate do to protect such ships? And what about multiple assets like the Republic of Singapore Air Force's naval helicopter? They can form a protective shield against all threats, whether from the air, on the sea, or even underwater. Each frigate is given the responsibility of monitoring an assigned area and dealing with the possible threats that can come from the air, surface, or underwater. The frigate can also deploy her naval helicopter to see further both on the surface and underwater, so that nothing gets through, no matter where they hide. Using her suite of sensors, which range from high-end radar systems to underwater sonars, assisted by the naval helicopter, the frigate can quickly and accurately detect threats, triggering the crew to action. Once a hostile missile or aircraft is detected, the frigate fires a surface-to-air Aster missile to intercept it. When an enemy ship is discovered, a long-range harpoon missile is fired to take it down. And if a submarine tries to slip past, a stealthy whitehead torpedo takes care of it. Each asset plays its part and together they form a defensive shield. The shield is strengthened by communication and information sharing between the entire fleet, which enhances their overall ability to detect and defend against anything that threatens the HVU. The HVU is able to sail to its destination, knowing that it is well protected. This operation is one of many missions in Exercise Pacific Griffin, a naval bilateral exercise with the United States Navy, one of the RSN's important partners.